check it out. I have Android running on the Hackberry Pi. So that was unexpected. So I'm running this off an SD card. So it's a little bit sluggish. Uh, I need to copy it over to the um, to the SD. Uh, the, there's a uh, no SSD. There's a small SSD inside, so I have to copy that over. But so far, it's it's, it's actually looking pretty good. I've had uh, I've owned uh, Android pads that were far more sluggish and slow, uh, and this is on an SD card. So, and I'm running it in. Uh, in average mode or something like that you know you have the perf performance scaler so this is sort of relatively low performance uh, the only thing that is slightly problematic is the heat it gets really really warm and this thing like the passive heat sink was probably not a good idea for this device i'm a little bit su surprised that uh, the maker didn't you know put in um, active cooling, you know, a small fan or something. I mean, there is there is room for it, and honestly, if it if it if there's like a small ridge or something, I don't really care. Uh, I would rather have uh, a device that you can't cook bacon on. <laughs> so yeah, but it does work, uh, you know, really good. It's, uh, video playback is okay. Uh, audio is okay. It's a little bit, you know, tin can audio. Uh, I wish the screen was a little bit more expensive because you can see every piece of. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't have greasy fingers now either. You know, it's just normal skin oil or whatever it's called. So um, yeah, but the good news is that these are stock. It, the, the entire device is, you know, made from stock parts. So the screen can be recycled for something else. The keyboard, well, I'm not sure what I can use it for, but uh, the motherboard is perhaps the most interesting thing because you could, in theory, use that to, uh, you know, create a pad, a uh, larger uh, touch-based device. Um, and of course, the CM5 is something you can just, you know, take out and put it in a case, uh, turn that into a, like a gaming machine or a... Um, uh, like a PC that you can use. Uh, the CM5 is pretty powerful, so yeah, it's pretty good. So, it, it's not a loss. Uh, I was hoping maybe for, you know, you know, a device that didn't become this hot. But uh, so far I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, I know it's... It's kind of small or doesn't have as many features as the, you know, the clockwork, uh, whatever it's called, um, U-Deck or something like that, which is larger and more elaborate and has like, you know, gaming keys and stuff like that. But uh, for my experiments, uh, I've just received the LoRa USB um, dongle which allows me then to, you know, play around with Mestastic, uh, implementing my own protocols and stuff like that. And if I just want to use it as a proxy, you know, you have, uh, you have HDMI, HDMI out, uh, you have uh, USB ports and so on. So I could just use it as sort of a, a portable computer, you know, plug it up with the keyboard and everything and then use that to work on it if I want to. Um, yeah, it's possible. It's an interesting device. It's an interesting configuration. You know, it, it feels kind of like a phone, but it's not a phone. And uh, you have some interesting options. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be uh, testing a few different combinations. Cheers.